So now, finger picking. This is a little bit more advanced technique, but uh, this really opens the possibility for instrumental solos and other things of the sort. So let's learn a couple uh, pointers for that. So the way you can really do instrumental solos is take a song, Mary Had a Little Lamb. What I'm gonna do is I can do just the melody, and that's the open E string. The D is on the B string right here, and I'm pushing down the third fret. And then the first fret here on the C string. Open E string. E, the G up here, third fret. Now what I'm going to do around that is with my C chord, so, so I'm bringing out that, I'm plucking a little harder that particular melody note. Change the G chord, and again the G chord, I'm going to have to pick up that D as part of the G chord, so it's a little bit different fingering. And then back to the C, regular C. Pick up that G with the pinky, third fret pinky up the, up here, right there, ready? So C chord, G again, pick up that D there, back to the C chord. So. So that would be something like Mary Had a Little Lamb. Now let's say I want to do something like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Can you tell I have kids? So that's this C, which is on the B string here. Now my next note would be this A up here, So, but there's an F chord that I need. So if I do this, it's a really hard stretch to try to pick up that A there. I have a couple options, you know, I can try a partial F and then still try to stretch and pick it up, which is really hard also. Or one possibility is I can shift position and pick it up using a bar chord up here. The other possibility, and this is where you'll learn is really important, is move it to a different key. The key is really important in picking, you know, figuring out an instrumental solo with finger picking. If I transpose that down to A, suddenly my highest note is right here, which is part of the open D chord. So here, here's how that goes. So. so this is regular D chord, regular A chord, D chord, A chord, E chord, so all of those notes are part of the regular open chord. It's just a question of which string am I emphasizing with my right hand. So here I'm emphasizing that A note, which is on the G string, open E string, still the e open top E string. Open E string there. D chord, now I'm emphasizing that B string. The, the B string open. Or not open, sorry, that's a C sharp. Fret two on the B string. Now the open B string. Still part of the E chord there. So uh, when I put that together, 